Okay, so this is the Lenovo IdeaTab 2025. So today I'm going to show you the note taking experience on this device. Basically, in the default notepad, you can either do handwritten note or type note. So, two types. So, I will show you the type note first. Basically, type note, you will be typing in your notes using the virtual keyboard or the physical keyboard. You can also use your stylus to convert your handwriting to text. Okay, as you can see, it's working. And in this, you can also do, you know, uh, like um, attach a handwritten note. You know, you can just draw something then it will be attached below so if you have something you need to write down maybe a graph or a chart or an image then you can just jot down of course this one also supports voice recording hello there all right let me just turn up the volume Okay, it's connected to my Bluetooth speaker. Hello there. All right. So when you click on this, the keyboard will pop up. So you have to just, you know, you can just like here to um, cancel the keyboard. Okay, basically the features are quite basic. There's also some AI feature, which I won't be trying now. I will try it later. But basically this one will help you to you know rewrite your sentences or maybe complete your sentences or summarize what you have written okay so yeah the features are here but quite limited okay now i will show you the handwritten note for handwritten note these are the brushes you have this one will be like a ballpoint pen. This is more like a highlighter. This is a pencil. And this will be like a fountain pen. Okay, then this will be the eraser. And this is to create shapes. So you can just draw something on it and it will turn into a shape. And this will be like circle this thing and you can duplicate you can delete, you can save, you can share. I don't know how to share, let me just try, share. Okay, you'll be sharing as an image. And this one will be changing the color of the font. And this one is to disable the hand, no fingerprint writing. All right. And of course you can add a text box and also an image if you want. So again, this is pretty basic, nothing fancy. I don't think you can even change the paper to you no know, line grid or something like that. So if you ask me, this is very, very basic. All right, but it gets the job done. So yeah, I won't be complaining that much. This is Huawei Mate 11.5 2025 Paper Mac Edition. So by default, it comes with two note taking apps. They are the notes app and also the notepad. Usually I will use the notes app because this is very powerful. Let me show you. Okay, inside the notes app, there is something called resource center. And resource center, you can download different stickers, different covers and different papers from time to time. I think they will update it. So you have like, you know, much more options or features that can be used down the road. So let me just create a new node. Okay, as you can see, you can choose the color of your node. Basically, there are a lot of options. These are downloaded from the resource center. Then some are the default that comes with this um, tablet. So there are a lot of options. You can also custom with your own image if you want. 
Same goes for the paper inside the note. You can choose different paper and you can also choose different background. Okay, like I change to black, I change to beige, and there are many different um, templates. So if you ask me, this is really, really good. All right. So now let me just use a fancy template. Of course, I can choose the size, A4 phone e-ink tablet. So usually I use A4. Okay, so inside the app, there are a lot of different pens you can use. Ball pen, fountain pen, felt tip pen, and also brush. Pencil will be here. For pencil, you can adjust the thickness and also the like um how how dark it is. Okay, more like opacity or something like that. Of course, it supports pressure sensitivity as well. And for pencil, you got HP pencil and 2B pencil. Alright. Then you have this highlighter thingy. So which is useful for highlighting your text. Okay, so there are a lot of pencils, a lot of options you can choose from. Let me just write something with the ball pen. So using this on uh, sorry Huawei M Pencil 3 to write on this tablet feels very nice, very natural, very smooth. And because of the paper mat, it feels even better. Now as you can see I have written something here. You can actually do a lot of things after you write. You can resize it. Alright, you can also Enhance your handwriting. Okay. And you can also, I think, convert to text. Alright. So there are a lot of things you can do, very convenient. Of course, there are also different stickers you can attach. So it's good for those, you know, that likes to do journaling. And what's this? Oh, you can also magnify there and do some tiny, tiny thing. You know, you see? So it's really, really powerful. Of course, this is the laser pointer whereby you can do presentation to someone that you know. And this is changing template. All right. And for this, this is like a voice recording. Hello there. I am writing something. Stop recording, then we can play back. Hello there. I am writing something. Alright, as you can see, it will replay what you have written while playing back what you have spoken. So, this may be convenient for you. I'm not sure. It depends on individual. I don't really use this feature anyway. So, overall, if you ask me, the Huawei note-taking capabilities is way above the Nano wall. So if you are really into note-taking, then do consider this. As for watching movies, the Huawei also can do white wine L1 on Netflix as long as you did the setup correctly. So let me show you. The Netflix was installed using Gbox. So inside Netflix, as you can see, this is full HD. Sometimes I have the problem that 
the play button won't go away if I tap at the background but as you can see now I don't have this problem but if the problem happens you can just tap on the side here to make the play button go away so that's the quickest way to do it alright so do take note on this personally I do enjoy watching um, Netflix or YouTube on this device and another benefit of Huawei is that the M pencil can be magnetically attached at the top or on top and also can charge it at the same time so you don't have to carry around a separate USB-C cable to charge it like Lenovo however do notice that the Lenovo is a cheaper tablet that one I bought at around 720 five ringgit but this one i bought at 1500 plus of course now it's cheaper i think you can get it around 1300 ringgit but still it is quite expensive compared to the Lenovo tablet so if your budget is limited personally i think the Lenovo tablet is able to answer your needs as well as long as you have um limited expectations in terms of note taking okay and also one thing i like to highlight is that huawei usually won't give you major os updates but Lenovo, i think they still do i think for the Lenovo idea tab there is one major update if not mistaken so currently it is running on android 15 so Lenovo will upgrade it to android 16 down the road but for this one there are no updates there will be security patches but there are no updates so this also you have to take note for the battery life this one will be better because this is running on 10,000 milliamp power or more or less around there but for the Lenovo tablet that one is around 7,000 so that one will drain out the battery quicker so again do take note on that so if you ask me which one to buy, I am not able to tell you. You have to analyze what I've told you and make your own decision. I always say that if I have limited budget, I will get whatever that works and able to meet my minimum requirement. So let's say if I have like maybe 800 ringgit, naturally I will go for the Lenovo tablet because personally I find that that tablet itself has um, good handwriting support or good stylus support compared to the other competitors in the same price range like the Honor Pad X9A that one, if I use the Honor Choice Pencil on the Honor Pad X9A the experience is not good so i rather use the Lenovo tablet and the other competitor will be the Redmi Pad 2 but Redmi OS, the Hyper OS on Redmi feels not nice because it's lagging sometimes for no reason like i want to open a new page on the note app it will take some time to load which is quite surprising because i don't think that is a um, processor demanding task so the whole user experience on the redmi pad is not as good as what i have experienced on the Lenovo tablet okay so for the budget range between honor pad x9a readme pad 2 and the Lenovo idea tab 2025 i will get the Lenovo. but if you want to compare Lenovo to this this is in another price range so you have to understand that you are paying actually paying more to get this but the experience of note taking on this is terrific this is for sure so yeah do think about it and let me know if you have any other questions. Thank you for watching.